the team's next stride into the... Well, I would start off that way, but really we're still back at it again. Uh, as Team A, uh, everyone currently here, there's Dookie, there's Jupiter, there's Nina, there's Drillbit, all managed to get into the city without worry or concern, but then immediately caused worry and concern as they more or less forgot why they came here and just decided to put Dookie in a fighting ring. Uh, betting the money that they just acquired from the mission that they were supposed to split up with the rest of the team, uh, Dookie lost. Uh, up against a barbarian that could... Let's say Rage is very good at low levels if you're fighting against low level things. Uh, and unfortunately, Dookie went up against a barbarian. Uh, tough, strong, and can reduce piercing and slashing damage. Uh, it took a couple rounds, but Dookie did... He did good damage. I'm not saying he didn't do that. But if it wasn't for Jupiter and Nina, let's just say Dookie probably would be dead. <laughs> uh, on the other side, uh, the rest of the group... Uh, Anna, Andromeda, and... <laughs> For some reason, I can't remember her name. Vera. Vera, thank you. Uh, all helped out Soren with his own endeavors. Uh, with Andromeda's own knowledge base, uh, you were able to create a few things, as well as the starting points of a uh, new life-based weapon. But Sorry, weapon? That was later. You first created the arm. Right. The living weapon That's right. thing. Okay, yes, yes, you're yeah. right. Okay. I was like, wait, we created a weapon? <laughs> you're starting yeah. to. I remember now. Yeah. Uh, the first thing was prosthetics and prosthesis. The second thing was uh, trying to create a living weapon without the need or necessity for a soul uh, being removed from something formerly living. Pesky souls. <laughs> I have a soul. Uh, but you're... Team A uh, wasn't on time. Uh, so Team 1, I'm going to go with Andromeda's group, decided to meet them to the city. Uh, collecting horses uh, for the day, they raced off to try to make it here before nightfall. Uh, with their skill checks and animal handling, they managed to get here, well, will manage to get here by night's end. However, that still leaves time for Jupiter, Dookie, and Nina, Dribbit's also there, to cause a little bit more harm. Uh, a man did take your money, and I believe that's where we left off with potential plans. And I'll leave it to <laughs> Jupiter, Dookie, and Nina to take it from here. I'll let Dookie decide, since Dookie lost everything. <laughs> yeah, I got for all this reasonable. money that I don't have anymore. This was it. I was supposed to make big bucks. You did lose those shiny things that you carry around. What shiny things? The muns. What is a mun? I don't know. The things I keep giving you. Oh. Money. Money. Oh. You mean... You mean money. Currency. Yeah. Yes, I lost. I don't believe well, in that. Technically, Dookie lost everything. Dookie promised me he'd murder someone, eat his fingers. Instead, Dookie almost got killed. Dookie, how does it make you feel to be, like, beaten up by a human? Yes, like, you were pretty much one second from death. If you had died, how would you have felt? Well, silence. Maybe that's a life lesson. I've been that muted. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. I didn't. I didn't see it happen. I was fighting. I bit a guy in the arm. I ate some of it, and then I fell asleep. Yeah, but you anything. fell asleep because you got beaten. Maybe this is the world and the dice telling you that maybe humans are so My skin's not bad. as strong as I thought it was. That yes. being born with 
quote natural armor doesn't mean it's necessarily armor. Well, I people with red eyes and glowing in anger can Look. stab with bare fist. Okay, here's the deal. Both of you still look like rainbows, and it doesn't look like you I can't know. Move. Thanks. So, one, we have to get you purified, which will probably cost money. We could throw. So we should probably beg for it. Two. Well, we have to come up with an elaborate friendly. lie of why we did not get paid. I we were oh, that's guys. easy. We can tell we just gave the money to someone. You know what? We could just usually okay. I would, we could just that say that wouldn't be a lie. Yeah, we could just say the human we did the job for only paid us seven copper. Okay, here's but he the didn't, idea. and that would be a lie. We Who paid you were seven offered. Copper? Oh, Early okay. investment in an up and coming business. Uh huh. Okay. And we Ooh, decided to invest for 10% of his company. Mm -hmm. and I we should be making money in about 10 to 15 years. That oh, way, I... we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's a long term investment. Are we starting the business? No. I, we name? can call it... Hawk? No, that's another guy. Friend Shack. And oh, John. what we would John. do... John's starting the business. Is we we invest in like, it. That's why we don't have money. What do we do? What if we just, like... Oh my God. It's a friend shack because people could pay to come, like, hang John. out with us and be friends. You can say that. You can say that. If they're weak humans, yes. I'd be okay with this. Now, drill bit will say differently. So, for drill bit, we will say he was attacked by fairies on our way up here, and he's seeing illusion. Okay. You know I'm only walking know? 15 feet away from you, right? How much could you Our sell? Drill you get for? into my mushrooms? Every time, drill bit. Every time we go, you end up getting into Jup's mushrooms. You think it's a steak because they got the same texture. In a way, but it's really just mushrooms. Yeah, but one tastes like mushrooms and one tastes like steak. Like, we just spent the whole day at the market, and you thought Dookie was fighting to the death in some crazy death pit. What? No, we wouldn't no, put one of our friends in a death pit. We would never. We were just trying to buy bananas, but we didn't have money because we just put all of our cash in an investment that will take about 10 to 15 years to pay off. Wait, Nina. Yes. When did we go to the market? I thought I thought Tuki was doing interpretive dance. I put my hand on Jup's shoulder. Oh. Poor Jup. You too got in the mushrooms. Oh. Not again? Damn. Yep. You were both, you and Drillbit, were on another plane sharing one existence, which is why Whoa. you have such a strange story. Maybe that's why we're friends. I know. But... Dookie, I feel as though that I know you better now. But, this yep. all brings us back to square one. As a leader, I'm taking charge. Oh, okay. Getting both of you, wait for it. A bath. Okay. Oh. You like those. both imagine this. I'm gonna I'm gonna upscale it for both of you. Okay. Both of you in your nude, Dookie, you're in your primal, most ferocious I'm, state. I, I don't think I can do that again. I do Well you're gonna have to get over it. Dookie thinks he needs to wear armor at all times. If humans have learned the ability to stab with fists, I feel less strong than I used to feel. Call punching, Dookie. I'm my armor. Hmm. Well, you can take a bath with, with your arm on, in case there's Why one of those swimming Why are you taking a bath? Why? Because you're covered yeah. in glitter and you can't get it off. Oh, the stink. rainbow stuff? Yeah, doesn't it look cool? But no, it doesn't come off with water. Can't get glitter off. Jump. I'm gonna ask you a question. What's your natural hair? You, I hear you were just, you had straight blonde hair. Yeah. Now look at it. 
Yeah, I haven't watched it for years. Oh now God. it's brown. I've noticed. Yeah. Uh. So, we're gonna get you a bath. Oh, okay. We're gonna get Dookie scrubbed down. Mm -hmm. But he can keep his armor on. Because he's shy back. about his nether bits. We'll just switch Drill bit. Like Drill bit is gonna general. watch. To make sure that we do it correctly. Drill bit knows. To... Drill bit is experienced. And unlike us, he tends to not get in trouble. So, Drill bit, could you take us to the priest people that scrub our bodies down even though we don't want it? That is a concerning sentence structure there. <laughs> Let me rephrase this. We're looking for the pre priest people that scrub us down from heads to t head to toesies. And they get all up in Dookie's private crevices. You're just making it worse. I am. Okay. We need handsy priests to get rid of our curse. I'm just going to take you to one of the temples in the city. <laughs> he uh -oh. looks around uh, seeing a few people here and there uh, you guys do find someone uh, in the distance a uh, rather young man uh, short cropped hair on one side on the other side a buzz cut uh, looking it's at so edgy. yeah looking at <laughs> you Just uh, he does say yeah what you want uh, Joba does say uh, we need to visit a temple for what? You guys in trouble or something? No, we need, uh, we need I, to... I guess what she said. Oh, that's that's weird, man. You sure you don't want to go to the the bathing house or something? No. I'm a it's... rainbow, and they said that's exactly. bad. Basically, we're not even allowed in the bathing house because supposedly it might infect others. We've been cursed with a terrible curse. And if we don't get scrubbed down quickly, Jupiter's going to explode out his eyeballs. It's not that terrible of a curse. I think I look pretty. You guys are well. weird. You know uh, what they say? You know what? Yeah, I know the perfect place. You go up this street, make a left, make a right, and then you'll be there. What if you make a left at the end? And you'll go the wrong way. Whoa. Well, see you later, weirdos. Then, like, walks away. Bye. Mm. Don't Goodbye. really like his attitude, but at least he pulls it in a direction. Okay, everybody. Let's go. Which direction was that again? It was up and to the left and then not to the left because okay. that would take you the wrong way. Let's follow drill bit because I'm not very good with directions. Also, my eyes aren't very good. I lived underground my entire life, so when it's bright out, I can't what? see that far. Are you a mole? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we said we were a long descendant from a mole-like species evolved over a millennia ago, I think it was. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. As the mole men uh, begin to journey forwards to the temple where they will be removed curse on, potentially, or not. It really depends on what they do. Their sentences need work. Uh, regardless of that, though, the rest of the team does make way, heading towards your direction. Uh, Anna, Andromeda, and Vera begin to head towards you guys. Oh, no. Uh, they won't make it there just yet. You have still time to <laughs> make things better, make things worse. Uh, still, though, it'll be some time. Uh... Andromeda and Anna, you guys can tell that this is the pathway that they were supposed to make their way here. And I want one of you uh, to go ahead and roll a survival check. I'll do it. Roll high. How do I do? Uh, you can for sure tell that people were heading in this direction. Uh, but at a certain point, people veered off into the forest. 
you're not sure who it is, but you can, if it is your team, they diverted their time uh, for about a day based off of that angle. I feel like some people have gone off the beaten road. I don't know if they thought they were taking a shortcut, but it's delayed them at least a day. I wish I could say I was surprised. Do you think it was ours? Probably. You can should, we go, should we go back or should we continue forward? Or were we supposed to meet them right here? Let's go forward. I'm sure they're somewhere along this road. Yes. I don't wish to get the wander off of it. <laughs> uh, hoping your team weren't the ones that Ouch. veered off course uh, you can tell along the footpath for quite some time uh, riding to expedite the time you eventually come across another point in time uh, in the distance Andromeda and Anna and Vera uh, Anna and Andromeda what are your guys' passive perceptions it's all the way down below your skills uh, to the left in your character sheet where it says passive wisdom. Okay. Uh, in the distance, uh, Andromeda, you can tell that there is something in the uh, flying in and through the forest. Uh, based off of what you can tell, you can make a, a perception check. Uh, or you can also tell Anna this and she can also make the perception check. Uh, Anna, or you, you can move around it. Anna, do you see that over there? And I point it out to her and I'd like to help us see it. Should I make a perception check? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, and with Andromeda using the help action, you will gain advantage. That is a 12. Uh, while these things are small that are going through the forest and the uh, bush lines, you can tell that there is a spark of magic as they float through. Uh, you catch a glimpse of uh, firefly wings, but far larger than they should be. Butterfly wings, far larger than they should be. And at a certain point, you swear they're attached to a human noid individual. What do I think about this? It's, so, does it scream fairy to me? It screams fairy. It screams fairy to me too. Yes. I wonder if these are related to the fairies that we had a little trouble with. I wonder if our teammates had more trouble on the way there. Or will they come back through the trouble? Mm, that's true. The fact that they are still cursed. Like yes. You don't know that though. You know, I almost feel like I hear Nina arguing, but I feel like, yes, they definitely are still cursed. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> should we try to get ahead of them, or should we let the fairies pass? Maybe they pass and be out of the way before our friends come back. They are going in a diagonal. If you follow along the path you're currently taking, uh, you would avoid them altogether. They just seem to be going deeper into the forest. Alright, then I think we should continue on the path we're going. Okay. I agree then. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, then... Just because Anna has been doing it for a while... Uh, Andromeda, roll for me a survival check. Survival. Well, it's not my speciality, but I suppose that's all right. Yeah. Uh, 
from time to time you do see strange howlings uh, coming through the forest, but other than that, nothing has been attacking you. You manage to move around. You swear you hear the sound of a man howling through the night uh, as if becoming a beast and or a wolf. You avoid that. Yes, let's let's not go there. Or do you? No, no, <laughs> we don't. It sounds terrible. Murder? Werewolf? <laughs> and unlike the rest of your team, <laughs> you did not get distracted. <laughs> person, wolf. <laughs> okay. Uh, Andromeda and Anna, those are the... Th I'm not going to tell you what they are. I can assume you assume what they are. Uh, all I can say is those were the only things of note in this pathway. And you expertly avoided them. So you are going to get there in time and you did not uh, divert your time frame. Now <laughs> why, does I, why do I get the feeling that our team did get... You uh, guys should have sat in a chair. Yeah, something <laughs> tells me that they did not have such an easy time here. <laughs> Allegedly. Speaking oh. of allegedly. <laughs> let's let's keep going. Okay, everybody. We're here at the temple. Now everyone follow my lead. Robert. Yes. You've done this before, so you know how to do this every time. What is that? Is that country what was that? music? What was that? What was that? What was that noise? This is odd. What? There's a weird type of music. What? Somebody was like, talking, yet they called it music. It was like talking with a uh. strong accent, and all I heard was something about a truck and legs and a, and beer. Oh. Huh. So I'll ignore that. Okay. Every time you enter a place of worship... Hello! Are you oh my gosh. friends? I'll follow. Well, uh, I guess we're just going right into it. Do a bit. Uh, yeah. And as you enter inside and Jupiter says, Hello, are you my friend? Uh, the m man comes forward and does state. It depends. You a worshipper of Uthgar? Are you the human who punched me? <laughs> no, Dookie. No? Do you want me to punch you? No, but I feel yes, confident. I, I am Dookie, okay. Dookie. Down to Grunduke, Dookie of the Duke family. We got Dookie's, my brother's Bookie Sookie, and Snooky Snooky is my sister. We're among the Snooky dumbest Snooky. of our clan, which is held in high regard. It was a pleasure to not meet you, but tell you about myself. That is all. Oh my god. Mm. Excuse me, I'll take lead here. I'd like to stand up right on the carpet and quickly bow and hit my head against the ground. A little bit uncomfortably too hard. And I'm gonna look up and say, thank you for letting me join your hell or enter, sorry. I hit my head too hard. I'm I'm here because I have a request. It seems that my party has succumbed to a terrible curse. I'm a rainbow. Exactly. And with it they've lost half their brains. I know we can't get the brains back, but I'm hoping they'd be less rainbowy, because I hear it brings destruction and pain and and death and revenge and other bad things. Hello. Mm -hmm. My Basically. spiritual name is Jupiter Peace Bertrand. What's your spiritual name? Do you see what happened to them? They used to be so competent. Oh, I don't even know what that means. Hold on. To what? What? You told me to hold on. But hold to on. what? I start holding onto the wall. <laughs> you hold on. I'm being a little deceptive. I'm trying to like withhold most of the truth about the fact that they eat fairies. <laughs> We live in the woods. 
Right. Uh, Leroy, by the way. Anyways. It does seem like your friends, I don't know what they are to, are more or less cursed. And here at Uthgar's temple, we are more than willing to help, but only those that are strong. As this is the temple of the strong. The oh, God. God of Damn strength it. shines upon all and only helps those that have strength behind them. I'm strong in knowledge. This guy sounds like a wonderful person. I like, wish I was um, strong. Oh, you Yuki. Come so here, I have something to whisper to you. No. If you cannot say it outright, then that is cowardice. Oh, okay. Do you know of the dice that control even the gods? That's called gambling, sir. Interesting. Then who's gambling on the gods? Whoa. I've got that actually is the most profound thing I've ever heard you say, Jupiter. Do we now enter I... just by having conversation? I mean, Nero looks at Dookie. Yes. What? Is this how we enter? We just conversate? No, it's time for me as I think the I mother duck right. in this situation to just kind of sit back with Jubit and let my children go. I'm not That's sure why that it. human brought me here. Thank you. All I could say, sir, is I respect that your upper lip does not grow that human hair. It looks as accessible as your fingers. And if I could, I would like to add it to my belt. Not now. Possibly while you sleep. <laughs> possibly in the future when I get better armor, because I realize my skin's not as strong as it was, even though it is powerful. So, sir, you have an eatable face. It is a pleasure to meet you. Means that is a compliment. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, good lizard folk, but I am celibate. Thank you. <laughs> I, too, am dookie. Wait, mm. you're celery? Uh, you were Leroy. I eat, I don't eat celery. I'm gonna like yell from back here. Remember, you're trying to get the bath to get the curse on oh, you. Yeah. Jumpy oh, in the background. Like he's not trying to. Rainbow. He's it's not being flirtatious with you, sir. It's just how he talks. So I cannot if, kill like... efficiently when I glow like Wait. the rainbow. The one Leroy. above me is stupid and always looks like the rainbow. So there's no need to wash him off. Leroy, if this is about strength. How do I show that I'm strong? Simple. We have feats of strength you can do. Those with muscles. Those with cunning ingenuity. Those that can put up a real fight. Or if you got a lot of cash. Uh, Leroy, what would be more strong than walking into the temple of the god of strength and then just taking a bath? That's just rude. Oh, so should I get out of the water? You no, you need it. You can go minutes. in there if you want. Is that strong? Uh, the, the water... Somehow, Jupiter doesn't get any cleaner. <laughs> but the water there's does get brown. Enough, yeah, there's just not enough oh volume God. of water here. Okay. I'm back. Right. Or are you gonna do the feats of strength to give to get the Uthgar's blessing, or are you just gonna to get pay? I recently yeah, was I'll punched through my feats body of strength with a fist. because I'm okay. very strong, and I flex, and there's just nothing there, mm -hmm. and I'm ready. Mm. I'm, I'm right. Strong. Anyways, I'm just gonna recently. look towards you, but I'm gonna ignore that. Looks at your arms. If you want to do this feats of strength, then tomorrow I'll be here. I'm here now. Can tomorrow. we just sleep here? All right. If you want to do it now yeah, and ha face this. Board. No. Oh, no. I think Nino wants us to do it now because there's another person in our group that I think she looks up to and she's going to be disappointed if she shows up. And we're still rainbows. 
Oh my god. Mm. Right. That might be true. It is true. I don't want to look like I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what you're doing. Shut up. Oh, okay. Look, if you want to do it now, I'll just work with the temple guards I guardians I have here. They'll test you in a actual fight. They'll test you in a feat of strength, and then they'll test your skills. Oh my god. Can wow. I step aside for a second? That sounds amazing. Hey, Nina. As long as they don't take their shirts yes. off like last time. Oh, they will. I tried. I think he bought my fake that I'm I, very strong, second. but I'm going to tell you this. I'm not very strong, and I can't fight good. Look. I've seen you kill multiple things with your spells. So just use those. But I don't think that's... Well, no. <laughs> Look, you're stronger than you think. Leroy, does it have to be physical strength or can it be spell strength? First one is physical. The last one yeah. is your own skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is it now? So... There was one time that I got stuck in a tree because the twig was too strong and I couldn't break it. Okay. Look. I'm gonna give you some inspiration here. Oh, Let me okay. that one time. Yeah? You picked like 55 herbs. Yeah. A normal person can't pick that many herbs. Yeah. I dexterous. did also grab all of our luggage and carry it all the way here for a day. True. Also, remember when you ate all those mushrooms? Whoa. I have five? really strong, like, Stomach. jaw muscles. Yes, but also... Can stomach. I bite in the first challenge? Of course! Okay, then I think I'm ready. I told you, you got this. I don't think we need to guide this. Alright, if you want to start now. Uh, Nino, are we starting now? That's up to you. Uh, he what? begins to draw on the ground with the red uh, chalk. Ooh, art. I like it. Nah, it's more like on the lines of where you're supposed to be uh, showing your strength. Oh, okay, I'm here. Right. Whoa. Got brighter. Magic chalk. <laughs> uh, the first thing you will have to do is a feat of strength. You'll be fighting with your own actual strength against one of our temple uh, guardians. You know about this. Mm, right. Yeah, you better if you go first. I will eat what's left. Uh, yeah, only... go first. It, it almost looks confident. like a pickleball court. I don't know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Leroy does state, only one at a time, and you will be facing different guardians. A guardian, you say? Yeah. Uh, 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 no. Learn my I'm... lessons. Swing twice, bite once. I Keep said I'm on. going Swing first. once, bite twice. Keep the armor on. Play defensive. Bite every what? time they swing. No, I said, I said that I would go first. Okay. I don't care. Mm. If right. you die, I eat you. If they die, I eat them. By the way, Wait. there's three chances to die. And three people. <laughs> um, uh, as you're saying that, uh, Leroy does look towards Jupiter. Right. Uh, he probably needs a handicap. You know what? One of our guardians just came in after a fight. No, I don't wear fight. hats. Uh, Greg, you want to come in here? Uh, and soon enough, uh, a man that you have seen beforehand <laughs> walks in. That's the guy who made me not stay awake. Oh, hey, he's my friend. I believe I tripped. This my one is friend. strong. Not Do your not friend. Tell him to take his clothes off. Uh, -uh. <laughs> right. doing great. doesn't like admitting his friendship. He's cute. Not your friend. Uh, okay. Leroy does state. Right, Greg. Uh, they're taking the trial of strength. You want to 
help them out in this one? I uh, create the state. Uh, fine. Uh, you there. What we're gonna do is a feat of strength. You will use your own strength to try to grapple me and throw me out of the ring. I will be doing the same thing towards you. This is more or less the long side along the lines of uh, I I Greek it. Roman wrestling. I, I get it. You'll be. You're trying to give me a hug without, you know, saying that you're giving me a hug. We're going to be using okay. athletics to try to grapple and then afterwards to try to throw. Okay. Come here, bud. Mm -hmm. Make sure not to grapple, not tackle. Uh, Jupiter comes out with like arms stretched out for a hug. Uh, Jupiter, <laughs> roll initiative slash turn order. Jupiter is looking like a, that's looking like a tackle. <laughs> this is a grapple. What's this is a tackle. Okay, uh, Jupiter, you do go first. Okay, athletics? Yeah. A negative two, boys. Man, do you hear the roll of the dice? <laughs> I feel like I've heard something that time. Go. <laughs> uh, I feel like somewhere out there. As you go in to try to grapple the man, uh, giving him a bear hug, uh, he must roll athletics or acrobatics to break uh, against the grapple. But since this is a strength based thing, he will use, of course, his own athletics. Uh, which is chance. Uh, plus eight. <laughs> there was no chance. <laughs> he uh. is proficient in athletics, unfortunately. Uh, he just squats your uh, embrace of arm and hug. Uh, that wasn't a friendly hug. Not meant to be. What's you done? <laughs> God. No. I will hug you. I will try one more time. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you roll uh, as a bonus action to try to hug again. <laughs> uh, plus eight. So that looks like it's going to be a good one. Just keep it up. I believe that's going to be the best tackle I've ever seen. <laughs> as you go in for a hug, he just swats you again. Uh, do you have like 15 feet of movement if you want to take it? As nimble as I expected. Okay. Uh, Whoa. I'm starting to think I'm not strong. Stupid, are you all strong? The problem uh -oh. is, if you're gonna okay. grapple, you actually have to like hug him and not. What did you, what was that? You like grasped, you grasped like right around <laughs> his chin. I've always just gone in halfway for a hug, and then the other person hugs me back. Hug uh, around the torso. Not he the rushes feet. in <laughs> for a close arm attack. Another grapple check, but it's funnier if it fits that way. Uh, beat a 24. <laughs> Athletics or acrobatics? It's literally impossible. Oh, God. Why is he coming to hug me so fast? Unfortunately, he did not. Uh, immediately clothesline checks you and is going to just try to throw you with his bonus action. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll remove the proficiency bonus in this, so it's possible. Uh, nine. You just need to beat a nine. Nice. Uh, uh. I like. As he grapples onto you and tries to throw you, you use your body's grease to like be slippery. Uh, you're still restrained by him, but, you know, <laughs> you're not being tossed out just yet. Uh, it is now your turn. You do need to break the grapple in order to free yourself, but again, I allow you to uh, grapple him with the bonus action. Let go! Grapple. We're supposed to be hugging! This is too hard of a hug! <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm going to save for future <laughs> use. Possible. Uh Breaking the grapple will be <laughs> just a 13. You rolled a zero. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going uh, to make it a flat I 13. 
I forgot how to stand up. Jupiter, I have to say, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever watched my entire life. With the zero, this I'm literally just like, dog. you know, like kid hitting him? Yeah. He's the blind dog's leg. Uh, you're still in his embrace. Uh, I'll let you try to break again with a bonus action. Because if you're still in the grapple, he joking. can try to throw you two times. Here's my real power. No. It's just <laughs> slightly... I, I've gone from child hitting to child kicking. Mm. Is this working, Nina? Oh my god. I imagine him he's on his back. <laughs> he's like his legs in the air. And swatting, like, with his eyes closed. Like, swatting, the being the slippery. Display of athletic. Uh, he <laughs> tries to throw you out, and you just need to beat a nine. No. <laughs> No. Uh, using uh, your own momentum, he just tosses you out. Did I win? No. Jupiter, you need to get, can you win mm. walk? Can you come here? Uh, I, by, yeah. by comparison, I'm pretty uh, sure. Up to my face. Yeah, I'm not a player. It's drop. I like to grab that his nose. Weak. And like, put my eyes right into his eyes. Jupiter. Yeah. You have to talk like your nose is being held. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have, I have to tell you something. Have you Did ever I... considered retiring from being a <laughs> adventurer? What I don't do you... think this is working for you. I don't think you're fit for the job. What do you mean? You said I was strong. Look, even I can be wrong. And you're the biggest mistake what? I've ever had in my entire life. So what? either you need to re you need to really sit down and reevaluate if you want to be here. Cause I feel like everyone on this team is putting the full weight behind it. But you are on the ground kicking and screaming. Yeah, I almost got him. Look, I think you need to just that what was that you just said? You almost got him? Almost got him. Perfect display okay. of weak. I need you to think about that. Oh, yeah. And then you need to tell me uh -huh. how you would have got him by tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll think okay. about that. I'd like to let go of his nose. Oh, wow. And ask, does that feel better? It does. Then I want to slap him in the face. Ow, that doesn't! <laughs> You're uh, good to go, Jupiter. Okay. Please watch Dookie. Dookie's better at mm. this. Although uh, he might be suffering from some. Leroy does state, uh, good try. Anyways, uh, oh, you see me, Agar. He looks towards Dookie. All right, uh, Grick, thanks for the help. Uh, do you mind bringing in Nina, uh, Terra next? Yeah, sure. I was still going against Grick. Bye, friend. I don't want to go against Grick. Bring in Terra. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Grick just states, not your friend. Don't do drugs. People Let that do try. drugs ain't a friend of mine. Don't. Don't look it's it up. just a human. They're subspecies. If you, if you can't grab them, then maybe we should go talk to your sister. But I can't bite them. Snooky Snooky. Is that your sister? Snooky Snooky? Yes. Snooky Snooky. Yes. <laughs> snooky Snooky. I'd probably be Boogie Boogie. He'd be the next to call. Much faster <laughs> than I am. I was born uh, strong and he was born fast. Uh, oh. Leroy does state, hopefully that helps you out. Hey. Right. You are a uh, skittier, curvier human. I will grab you and totally throw you to the ground. Not a human, but whatever. Uh, yes. this is the guy I'm supposed to do the strength check with? Uh, uh yes. Like? All right. Uh, Tara, more or less, it is an honor for you to meet me. You ready to go? I have no idea. All right. Uh, <laughs> Dookie roll initiative slash turn order. Got a 16. Dookie got a 7. Go you will go second. Today. As I mentioned beforehand, you do need to make an athletics check to grapple her, and then another athletics check to toss her out. Uh, they will be contested. Uh, you can use your bonus action as well to try again. 
uh, and if you're grappled, you can uh, first need to break the grapple. Uh, you saw Jupiter's uh, thing. I'm pretty sure you got this. If not, I'll remind you while things going on. Uh, cool. Terra rushes forwards. All right, let's try this. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, goes in for a grapple check. Uh, grabs onto you with a 22. Go ahead and roll uh, an athletics check to try not to be caught in this. That's a 14. Uh, she immediately grabs onto you. You really powerful. <laughs> oh, six. Oh, they put me in a, in a ring to die. Uh, grabbing onto this you. She... I know. I fought him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thought you were the strong one. Sure, why not? Uh, using her momentum, she uh, backflip throws you, potentially. Uh, beat a 12. You just need to beat a 12. Athletics? Athletics again. That's a 12. What? You didn't beat a 12. You meet it. I'm going to say it succeeds for now, but you are still grappled. Uh, Dookie wiggling like a worm, more or less, uh, keeps his momentum from being thrown. Uh, as it is now your turn. You are now grappled, so you need to run aesthetics to break free with the grapple. I mentioned beforehand, I'm going to make it a flat 13. So you just need to beat a hit a 13 or beat a 13. Very strong for a little person. It'll we'll break out. Nice. Oh my God. Uh, breaking out, you do uh, remove her hands around you. You can use oh. your bonus action to try to grapple her, but that'll be the end of your turn unless you decide to move around beforehand. Hmm. I would like to grapple her. Okay. It is contested against her, so go ahead and roll. 14. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. That is a 13 for her, so you are able to grapple her. Uh, that is the end of your turn, though. Uh, on... We are grappling. Yep. Don't like this. Personal space. No offense. Uh... She tries to break out with a 23. Go ahead and roll with athletics to keep your arms around her. I am impossible. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately so not. Strong. <laughs> Temple of strength. Uh, it's fine. She didn't listen to that <laughs> angsty teenager. Uh, breaking out. She will use her bonus action to try to grapple onto you. 15. Yeah, you just need to beat. Unlikely. Nice. I did say uh, meets beats, so that'll be that. Uh, so you're free right now. Dookie, go. Alrighty, skinny lady. We shall continue with touching each other. Called wrestling, but you whatever. Three. Okay, one second. Let me grab you, but not bite you. The four. Fuck, I bit you. Uh, plus six, that is a 25. She just slaps your hand, your face away, I guess, because you said you bit her. Ah, I will then try to grab her hand. I missed. It's a she nine. <laughs> uh, well, plus, she, oh, ah! she failed. So you are able to grapple her. <laughs> On her turn, she's going to try to break through. Uh, beat an 11. You just need to beat an 11. Uh, Meets and beats, so... She's going to use her last remaining bonus action to try to break free. Uh, 13. You just need to beat a 13. You did not. Breaks free. Dookie, go. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, grab her. Eight. Uh, I'm just going to roll a d20 at this point. Uh, okay. That is six. That is eight. So even no one gets caught, but no one is at a disadvantage either. I shall try again. 17. Natural 20. She just decks you. Uh, nothing thematically decks you in the face. This is going many places. Mm. Uh, on her turn, she just tries to grapple onto you for 19. This is getting annoying. Well, I will keep going. Four. <laughs> Grabs onto you. Uh, bonus action tries to toss you out. 24. Out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Five. Oh my uh, god. You just get tossed next to me. People are very strong. Oh god damn it. Dookie, I expected more from you again. I had more I'm body not... to grab. 
was Hey, fair. we both did great. The, the humans you killed, the ones on your belt, they were alive, the right? The weak ones, <laughs> I told you, I got them at the bar. Uh, Tara Aren't looks towards... the strongest of your kin, though? <laughs> Tara looks yes. towards Dookie. Uh, honestly, good show of it. Your friend, it's like, serious. lasted a turn. He, he lasted at like least a... six. Yeah. Hey, like wait. Fish fixed with a dead rodent. What the I, hell of it? Can I, I go? I was very strong. Can I go? Uh, it you looks know, towards you're Leroy. Like very frail. Uh, I am frail. <laughs> but even I can probably figure this out. If you so have enough strength to go for your allies, I am willing to hear you out. Uh, Terry, do you mind? I suppose not. I have worn her down. I have become <laughs> extremely annoyed that my allies are extremely weak. Look at my arms. They're just bone. I don't even have muscle on my calves. I see people who calf muscles and I go, maybe I wasn't born with that. Uh, okay. And I'm still going to be strong with them, man. Turn order. Me go. Sure. Uh, get ready. Uh, <laughs> Nina, go ahead and roll turn order slash initiative. Honestly, you took it. You were very close so many times. It was close. I was thinking about trying to kill these guys. I'm glad I didn't. They were very strong. Uh, 13. Very strong. Uh, I think technically, Nina, you would have a better dex than her, so you can go first. Here I go. What do I need to roll again? I forget. Athletics. Athletics. God damn. Well, I still can do it. And I have negative one athletics. I have negative two. Oh, wow. <laughs> she's fast when she's uh, You know what? I'm going to say you grab distance. onto her. Natural 20, you like immediately grab onto her just to prove a point that you can. That's a tackle. And a grab. Oh. Okay, you can use Whoa. your bonus action to try to toss her out with another athletics check. This will be contested unless you somehow roll another natural unexpected. 20. That was <laughs> highly unexpected. <laughs> I would like to say, <laughs> everybody, me, I was born genetically without a muscle, and I could still figure out how to fucking grapple. <laughs> like, that was such a powerful hug. Out of nowhere, she's like not sure what you can do. She sees your muscle mass and build, uh, sure, whenever. You like surprise her, like quickly grabbing onto her and tossing her before she can actually get in defensive stance and just ring her out. It's not strong, but for sure, if you were in a fight, you would have knocked her out and your team would have potentially taken her out. Okay. <laughs> I think I was a little, what would you call it? Angry, uh, frustrated. That was weird. Uh, that was Look, Leroy, weird. I need my stupid companions to get a bath. And I've hey, shown my strength. I agree so with that. Can we bathe them, please? Because they 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 smell and they're glowing colors, and I hate colors. What colors? Hmm. Well, that's one out of three trials. You've Ooh. succeeded one. You just need to succeed another one, and then you're good. Okay. Yeah, Stuki, you got this. Stuki, what look. about me? I don't, Jeff, you don't... <laughs> I don't think you've got this. I uh, think I might. <laughs> Tara comes over towards Nina. Uh, hey, Tara. You yes. around here? Okay. Uh, Nina. Yes, Tara. All right. Well. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. For she... going easy on me. Oh, thanks to you. Wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Well, anyways, you've shown your strength. Good huh. job. Outside of that, if you want to grab a drink? Oh. Let me yes, know. Yes, I might. Are you paying for it? And also... Yeah. One that's you out. feathers in your mattress? Uh, yeah. And curtains that cover the windows? Yes. And multiple rooms? Uh, no, I live in the temple. Oh, with other people? I mean, we don't share the same room, but yeah. Okay, you're getting my hopes up there. Um, yes, I might get a drink with you later. I'll see you at the pub, the yeah. local town. Sp speezy, I believe is what the people call them these days. 
Sure. Anyways, my treat. Please. Uh, Thank you, Tara. You're around. I I'll be at the uh, Old Hogs Inn. Well, say we go. Old Hogs Inn. Hear that, Dookie. I will also be there. Oh, that was quite disappointing. I thought she said we were going to say she lives in a villa, and I was going to ask her to get married, and then I wouldn't have <laughs> to deal with anybody anymore. No. I'm going to show that I'm strong again. Oh, I think God. I did good last time. Mm, right. Well, uh, the first one is strength. The second one uh, is something else. And the last one is your own skills. Oh. You got this. If there's you something the else is finding, like, plants, I'm going to really be good at it. I'm holding your breath for 15 no. minutes. No. Uh, I'm going to be good at it. The one in the middle is the most problematic for many people. It's the test of valor. I don't know what that means. Uh, your heroicism. Heroicism. Oh, I, I have friends. I do. Does that count? It really depends on if they're your friends or not. They're my friends, and I protect them, but they also protect me. And I have a lot of friends. That's not impossible. That it's like so it. long as it's an actual thing. You can't use money. You can't use uh, course of means. And you can't use, as Greg put it, drugs. Oh, no, I would never. I just give them plants. And then they seem to like me more. You can't give them things to make them your friends. That's just toxic. But I thought that was just sharing a hobby. Most of his plans are toxic, am I right? <laughs> Drillbit gives you a he uh, high five. Nice, Drillbit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leroy does state, True heroism is not between you and someone else by a transactional means. It is genuine. Sure, you can share a hobby, but you cannot... Share a tree. I understand. Sure. What? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Jupiter. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be doing a trial? Yeah, yeah just I'm states... supposed to show my valor out in the world. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Oh. Well, it's that one we're fighting. Mm. I've got to be honest with you guys. Doogie was born pretty tough, but these humans are on a lot of drugs, I would assume. Wait, they're way I too have a for human. One even this... said they weren't human. They just looked like a small, curvy one. Doogie, have you ever considered one... stripping down and being your most primal self? I look like what would time. be a dinosaur. And I died. Take oh. those little stubby arms of yours and be a real T-Rex. Dookie, I have a plan for how we can sh show our valor. You can't see them, they're stubby. <laughs> Just normal size, my body is bigger than normal. Got no average arms. Dookie, I have a plan to, for us to show our valor. I, if it requires taking my clothes off and showing my valor, I am not on board. No, no. So, you know how I'm really good at making friends with animals? Mm -hmm. I was thinking we could go into the woods and I could mm -hmm. make friends with some animals. And I know then, a story like this. And then you know who else likes animals? Humans. Yeah, human kids. So we take the animals to an orphanage and then they can play with the animals. I know a great story of one of my kind like this. Many people call it the Great Cheese Parade caused by the reincarnation of Simonia, the blue lizard folk who rode a dragon and rode cheeses followed by rats through, through town. They say his bloodlust was so superior to our normal lizard folks that he had to cover his eyes so he wouldn't see the children being eaten by the rats because <laughs> he wanted to eat them himself. I, I, I love this story. It is told by my family and I would like to join you on finding the animals. I don't know what that means, but I think you're agreeing to doing this plan. 
Nina, I think this is Fabulous a good plan. plan. It's like my childhood. To the oh, woods! Up once. <laughs> As the other side of the team goes to the woods, uh, Anna, Andromeda, and Vera all manage to get into the city before uh, nightfall. Uh, releasing your horses back to the owners of them. Uh, you oh, managed to make it here. <laughs> yeah, releasing the horses. Damn, somebody can't ride a horse. <laughs> One of them is a centaur. Uh, releasing the horses back to the company that you re uh, rented them from. Uh, Vera looks towards you both and does state. Uh, right. Where do you think they would be? Uh, they're supposed to be at the temple getting themselves cleansed after uh, getting that one up-and-coming merchant into the city. I think his name well, was like John something. My mother, because uh, yeah. Megan's headset cut out. Oh, okay. Well. I don't recall where we were supposed to meet. Vera, do you remember where we were supposed to meet them? I know they're supposed to be, like, at the temple, getting themselves cleaned. Okay. Or... Let's find out where the temple is. Uh, Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Hey, wonderful. We are deciding what we're supposed to do. Oh, huh, yes, we are, um... Gonna go to the temple? Yes, yes. Is there only one temple? Wait... Uh, don't know. We can ask. Uh, one of you, because I, because technically Nina told Drillbit to look for someone, but technically you guys can. Uh, so either Andromeda or Anna, roll for me a perception check to see who you find. Uh, <laughs> to ask where the temple is. Do you want me to ask? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So I'm going to uh ask Mister. Um, who am I? What am I doing again? I'm going to roll. Uh, perception check. Perception check. check. I am going to ask Mr. Perception, right? Yeah. To be perceptive to find the perception. I. You find what? a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't know! <laughs> You find a smarmy, uh, young gentleman, uh, full buzz cut hair, uh, nice trench coat look, red and scaled looking, uh, smoking behind an alleyway. Uh, you guys looking for a temple or for something? There's like a bunch of them. Anything That's specific? One, one that would, uh, bathe curses. rainbow Anybody people. Really good at removing curses. That'd be like a lot of them. Hmm. Like if you're looking for the good, good ones, then you want to go like to the uh, upper district where all the rich people are. If we were not smart, where might we go to have a curse removed? Like the upper district. Okay. Can you tell us all how right. to get to the ec the upper district? Yeah, sure. You just keep going down the main road and you'll eventually get there. It's... You don't go up the main road to get to the upper district? Well, up is sort of relative, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Yeah, okay, whatever. You sound like my tutors. It's all around, all about this city. These people. You know, it's not about them, the people that have all the money. I mean, sure, I have that too, but, you know, it's really about here. You know? Do you want to give us any of your money? No. Oh, okay. Well, we don't I've have I've earned any. this no. money. Oh, good no. for you. Yes. We too have earned our money. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will go to the upper district then and ask somebody that knows there. Yeah, whatever. Continues to Thank smoke you. in the background. Do you want me to ask somebody else? No, I think... I think you've done a wonderful job of finding someone, and um, maybe we go to the upper district to now ask around, and then we find someone else if we need to. Okay. Uh, going into the city without too much of an issue, you find a whole bunch of people. You find 
uh, commotion in the streets. You find uh, richer and richer uh, stores as you continue down the main pathway. Uh, as soon as you reach a point, uh, it doesn't say immediately that, that you've hit the upper district, but you can tell by the way people are dressed so fancily. Uh, you see silks, you see garments of various tapestries and various designs. Uh, eventually, you see a man with a top hat just uh, politely nod towards you and move away. You see ladies uh, gathering flowers, heading towards maybe a large mansion. Uh, eventually, you do find a temple. Uh, upon it, it, it is inscribed uh, wealth, money, and virtue. These seem like our kind of people, don't you think? Uh, not my I say kind of people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten to know you like quite well enough, I guess. I'm so sorry. Because yeah, they definitely be quite dry. I've been told. They definitely don't look like me. No. <laughs> well, it's a temple, yes. So why not give it a try? Okay, let's go. Uh, you guys enter inside the temple without too much of an issue, and there eventually stands a man. I uh, didn't think <laughs> both groups would f do this. Uh, inside stands a man, roughly. Let's see, Temple of Walken. Temple of Walkins, lovely. Hmm. <laughs> uh, inside is a elven man with long silver locked hair, uh, blue island eyes, uh, a golden singlet around their forehead and on their head. Uh, addressing you does state, Welcome to the temple. Of walk in. W A U K E E N. Not oh, walk, walk in. Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes slightly more sense. Yeah. Hello. Um, we are looking really for a few friends of ours who may have come through here looking for someone to remove a curse. Have you seen uh, anyone yes. like that? There's um there's a, a half elf, there's um uh, another half elf, and there's a lizard man. Half elf. I'm a full elf. Mm. Sorry, one's a full elf. One's a half elf. Are <laughs> no, you kidding me? One's half <laughs> human. <laughs> I'm Let's see. Human. There has yet to be a lizard man in this area today, but there have been many elves and humans roaming about. There Perhaps. I think there's been a lizard man with them. Hmm. What other um, temples might you suggest we check? Oh, there are quite a few. There is yes, the I Temple heard. of Wealth, which is ours. There is the Temple of Strength. There's the Temple of Cunning. There's the Temple of Ingenuity. One. <laughs> There's the Temple of Poverty. Or maybe they would have gone to that one. <laughs> <laughs> they probably would have the first one they heard. <laughs> Poverty, <laughs> Strength, Wealth, and... Smart. <laughs> Temple of intellect. We should have gone Correct. to the cunning one. I'm really smart. All right. Um, where's the nearest one? Can you point us in that direction? It would be further into the city, but of course, you simply make a right down this street, go further south, and eventually you'll come across the Temple of Cunning. And uh, wonderful. And the next. The next I really one. don't think they would have gone to the Temple of Cunning. Uh, he gives you directions for all of them. Okay. Uh, so you know where to go. You just know, you just don't know exactly where to go. I don't think very highly of them. I don't think they would have gone to the Temple of Cunning. I'm, I feel badly saying it, but it's true. But do no, you think I they, don't think so either. Do you think they'd go to the, the Temple of Strength? I mean, no. Oh. I mean, I mean, only, only Dookie and, and, 
and Anna can uh, and drama. Uh, oh my God! I said both of our names before. I said <laughs> Nina. Nina considers herself quite poor. She does. She does. But Drillbit is, seems like he would think he was strong. But why would he want to go to the temple? I I don't know. Um. But okay. So he's given us directions to all of them. Why don't we, um, quickly stop by the Temple of Cunning? <laughs> Given the benefit of the doubt. Uh, yes. Well, why, and, might as well just go in order and each of them as quickly as we can. Okay. That's Let's good. go with cunning to give him the benefit of the doubt, and then maybe poverty. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> we don't feel like quick realization that we may have never just made it to a temple yet. We could have got lost <laughs> in the woods and died. <laughs> True, you did go off the beaten path. I was giving them quite a bit of credit, aren't I, from assuming they made it to a temple. They even <laughs> made it to the town. <laughs> they could have been killed by those fairies in the road. They may not even have made it to this freaking city. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as you guys enter the Temple of Cunning, uh, there is a man... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, no, this one's a woman. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is her token? Uh, there is a uh, woman with golden locked hair, uh, long ears suggesting elven heritage, uh, emerald eyes, and a long bow strapped to her back. Uh, looking towards you, she does state, uh, greetings. Welcome to the Temple of Cunning. Uh, my name is Vola. How can I help you? Vola, hello. My name is Andromeda, Andromeda Le Velinora Leonora Gaia the Sixth. I'm wondering if you might have seen um, three of our friends uh, so far today. They may have been looking to have a curse removed. One is an elf, one is a half-elf, and one is a lizard man. There are very few that go to the Temple of Cunning. Many people do not believe that they can past the trials. Uh, there are trials involved at these yes. places. Uh, if you do not have the monetary means, there are trials in which you can receive a blessing uh, or help. Uh, oh, okay. That makes more sense. Okay, yes. right. And there haven't been any um, such people who have come here today or uh, yesterday. Not that I'm aware of. There was... Oh, right. I'm not sure if they were a lizard folk. Uh, per se, I only got them a uh, uh, passing glance, but there was a lizard folk, perhaps dragonborn, that walked into the city, uh, terrorizing you know. a man. No, they. Oh, terrorizing a man sounds about right. Were terrorizing a man uh, that was recently opening up a shop in town, uh, berating him on who he was. Not exactly sure the details, but I can tell you where his shop is. Yes, that would be wonderful, actually. Uh, well, his shop in town is known as uh, Little Little John's Emporium. Little John's. Right. She gives you directions for it. Wonderful, thank you. Of course. And if you need any help, let us know. If you need any blessings or something of that nature, uh, and you don't possess the monetary means, uh, a trial can be placed instead. That is, that is good to know. Thank you so much. Of course. Uh, she bows and politely continues her work. So, but not cunning. Uh, eventually, you make it to Little John's uh, Emporium. <laughs> and you find John, or... Uh, what was his full name again? His name is John. John. John Jacob Jingle. Who's Elton? Schmidt. Yes, Who's his name is my name. <laughs> Elton John. Elton John, that's what it was. It was a joke. Uh, John Elton, uh, the man you only met once while your team was assisting him, uh, looks towards you. His shop is rather barren. It barely has anything uh, on it, but that's because it just recently opened. He does have the stuff that people were carrying for him on the way here. But other than that, it's like standard health potions, tools, uh, rations, and things of that nature. 
Uh, some magical stuff, too. Yeah. Uh, looking towards you, he does state, Oh, uh, Charmin. Uh, you, I believe you were the people that were with me before the team split up, I believe? Yes. Um, we were here looking for the rest of our team and wonder if you may know where they have gone. Oh, um... I don't know where they are right now, but they were talking about having uh, Dookie uh, face people within the fighting ring. Oh, is that associated with a, um, a temple around here or, an, or any such thing? Um, like, or, or was it just a fisty brawl? Uh, fisty brawl, I believe. Uh, there's oh. the actual fighting ring that is governed by the actual city itself. Or the one that people go in to uh, fight because they're bored. Uh, hmm. I do know that the Strength Temple, one of a few of their people go there to test their metal when they're bored. Hmm. Well, we have heard of the Strength Temple twice today, so that does seem significant. Um, we'll go there. Thank you for your time. Right. This was a few hours ago, so I don't know where they are now. Oh, so they could be anywhere by now. They're not smart, but they do have legs. If you they want, do. I can give you directions to both places. That'd be awesome. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. I've got myself quite turned around. Uh, you now know where the fighting rings are and the temple of strength is, which you already knew. Wonderful. Right. Well, if you want to buy anything, feel free to look around. I have health potions. I have magical items, at least the ones I have currently. Uh, spell scrolls. Magic books you can write in. Magic books that are alive. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, I would love to come back on our way out of town and see what you have. Is that sure. all right? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. By the way, I paid, uh, I think the person's name was Nina. She should have your yeah, money. Nina. Oh, good. Nina is so good with money. <laughs> well, once you get it back, feel free to stop on by. Oh, Yes, once we get it back. Thank you. He nods while you exit out of his shop. Hmm. I think Nina would probably still have it. I think Jupiter keeps giving Nina her money, and I don't know if Dookie knows what money is. Nina seems very trustworthy when it comes to money. Yeah, no, I think she seems, she seems very trustworthy to me. Yeah, as you a fellow princess, concur. She does yeah. care very much about her money. So that's something. All right, let's go check on the um the Temple of Strength. And uh, while this is going on, uh flipping people that Man, are here. I'm so glad we found the one and only temple in this entire place <laughs> so fast. <laughs> But you're saying there's more temples. No, I'm saying we found the only one. And I'm glad we did. Why would you say it like that, though? Like, wouldn't window. you be like, oh, I'm so happy we found the temple so far? Yeah, we did. Why, but why do you say, oh, I'm so happy we found the only one temple in town <laughs> so fast? Because there's one in town. Nice. We got lucky and found the only temple in town. Look, so, Nina. To go through the plan, I'm thinking we should find the biggest, scariest thing we can find. Because if it's super big, then more kids would be able to hug it. Yes. Okay, wait, okay. Give me... I don't know... I don't even know the plan yet. So, oh, you are going yes. to seduce an animal. Uh-huh. Why? We're gonna get the biggest, fluffiest animal and take it to the orphanage. So that the kids can hug on a nice, fluffy animal. Okay. Because kids like animals. Cookie's um, interested in how this will turn out. It's like a stuffed animal. <laughs> but it's not stuffed. It's a real, live, wild animal. Mm. Okay. Wait, wait a second. Yeah. Why? It has to be alive. Be what? Do you even know if there's an orphanage? Two. It's a big city. There's always going to be an orphanage. What if they're allergic to it? What if I'm allergic to it? I don't even know what it is. 
then they'll be all stuffed up, but they'll still love the thing. And how, well, three, how is this, how is this going to pass the test? Because we're helping kids. That might be true, but because they're in what, what spells so they're do sad, you have? and then What's... then they wouldn't be so sad. What spells do you have? What? What spells? I can find plants. What else? I can find other plants. He winks. What... <laughs> I can also speak and make friends with the animals. Is that it? Yeah. What about healing spells? Oh, I can call a healing spirit. And yeah. I can say some healing words. Uh, <laughs> I can't give you serious today. God damn it, Jupiter. But I How only really this? learned Look, how Jupiter. to call a healing spirit because I thought the spirits were cute. Okay. Look, here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to skip the furry beast because it takes time and it causes me to have to walk. And if you say no, I'll grapple you. But... <laughs> but that's all I can do. <laughs> Wait, you're right. What if I give all of the orphanage some plants? No. That will also make them like happy. We're going to go to the sure. orphanage. We're going to find the sickest kid there. We're uh -oh. going to sit down and go, you poor thing. Luckily, oh, like well. my friend Jupiter does not have plants, no plants, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, has a healing spirit who might make you feel better. But and wouldn't you're gonna that mean that the hearing spirit would be the one that passes the trial and not me? Nope. And it would be like if I did the bar, where I get but, the person drunk. You but will this get all time the credit. we get the kids sick. And oh it's easy. Oh, wait, are we getting the kids sick before we heal them? It sounds or if it goes wrong, we just don't waste them. Okay, hey, look, here's the deal. I don't think this is possible. What do you mean? I think you're both fucked and you're going to die. And be Why? eaten alive by a fairy who's going to come back and be like, Oh, how's it feel to be eaten alive? Oh, excuse me? He's the guy that's supposed to be watching you while you do this. You can ignore him, technically. He's, like, <laughs> further away. Oh, oh. Oh, he's from the temple. Everybody look cool. Okay. But don't talk too loud. Especially you, Dookie. You don't have lips, so your voice tends to get quite loud and screechy. Okay. okay. Here's the deal. Yeah? We're going to an orphanage. Yeah. Where we will find a small a child. Human. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want us to bring wild animals to the orphanage? You haven't listened to my, listened to my plan yet. Okay. Then, we'll adopt him. Mm -hmm. Okay. That small <laughs> child can carry us stuff. Wait, hold down. <laughs> I feel like ever since I started hanging out with you, Jupiter, I'm getting yeah. stupider. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh man, they should heard make that a simple for that. But like for the opposite, for like being smart. Men are from Jupiter to get more stupider. <laughs> I'm to make smart. Sense. I'm, I think I'm the smartest one in the entire group. Oh my gosh. Look, here, we're going to the orphanage. Jupiter, you're going to cast healing spirit or healing something on a sick child. And okay. then that's it. That is it. You're going to leave. Is that, is that comprende? Yeah. You don't know what language that is. Comprende? Under common? No. Under common. Com. Communication. Com. Prin. No, printing. this is not, look. We Com went to Communicating the printing. Stop. Look, uh, Jupiter. Yeah. We went to the Temple of Strength. Not uh -huh. the temple of coming. Uh oh. So, do we just show how many kids we can hold? Yeah, wait, what is Dookie gonna do to pass then? I will buy the second weakest kit. For Dookie's my... gonna stay outside and guard us. Oh, I have no money. I we will can't let Dookie near children. Dookie will probably children. be like, 
Dookie could eat multiple children in one bite. I know. You did it. Test <laughs> that the weakest child requires more than one. So, look. Orphanage. Heal. That's it. Okay, Jupiter, promise me. And if you do yeah. this, I'll allow you to sleep on top of the bookshelf again. What? I love the bookshelf. I know. You'll even be able to put your hammock up there. Whoa. Also, I was thinking maybe a slack line between bookshelves. We need to find the orphanage right away. Um, soon enough, uh, I'm just going to not make you roll for this because you might wind up getting lost. Uh, soon enough, you find uh, the orphanage because uh, there is one. In D&D, there's always an orphanage that needs saving. Uh, or at the very least, there is always an orphanage. Hello. Uh, we're told hello. to not bring wild animals, but I would like to heal some kids, please. I've brought my wise sage Jupiter, who has a little bit of healing spells, and we're hoping that maybe one of your kids could utilize that today. And maybe I have some healing herbs, one. too, if those would help. This not herbs, don't take those. Oh, Am I outside? Okay, not herbs. Uh, right now, yes. Outside. I'll be shepherding my butcher knife. <laughs> uh, <laughs> use our guard. I yeah, dude, it's Dookie. He's outside guarding because he loves children. Pleasure to meet you all. Anyways, based off of everything you just told me, pleasure to meet you. Uh, welcome to the New Path Orphanage. You mentioned something about healers. Any reason why you've come here today? Because I was told to not bring a giant wild beast to the orphanage. Look, don't. we've come here today as representatives of the Temple of Strength. And we're here to give good... To do good. Basically, we're adventurers. And we're not fighting today. So our healer, Jup here, is able to heal once per day and then has to sleep. A long night. So... We're looking to maybe if, ask if you have any sick children who maybe wouldn't like to be sick anymore. Um, I suppose we do have a few, um, but we usually go to the Temple of Poverty to uh, take There's care of that. There's a Temple of Poverty. Wait, is this a different temple? Uh, yes, there are many faiths within the city and various more oh outside of it. What, what is the Temple of what does poverty mean? Uh, without wealth, without means. <gasps> oh, that's me. I don't have anything. That's me, too. No, you have my money. I did have your money. What do you well, mean? Well, okay, that sounds interesting. And what other temples are in town? Uh, she lists the temples again. Hmm. Oh, we should have gone to few. the cunning one. I'm very <laughs> smart. I don't think we would have done good at the cunning temple. But I'm very smart. Hmm. But okay. just book smart. Look, here's the deal. We're trying to get a curse removed, but we also hate the idea of human children being sick. And human oh. children right. not being able to sleep. And dying so young because like they're 50. not very strong when they're small they're not they're never very strong but we hate that so we're here to we hate kids. give our graces <laughs> play with the children in a professional manner and heal them from their illnesses can we come in you if you are individuals that are I'm going to only assume since you don't know about the other temples practitioners or perhaps uh, those taking on the trials of strength I you can assist however you cannot simply play with the children without the proper documentation I, uh, do you have child rearing credentials no, but I have a lot of animal friends. I've, let's just say, I've overseen a large number of human children before. 
but they're no, all don't dead. Come to... They did die, all of them. But it wasn't my fault. It was a calamity. Everybody I'm died. I'm gonna say don't mess with the kids. I will not. We're just gonna heal them. We won't even say words. Right, well, I'm good at healing. I will be I'm in the room. I'm also good at handing out plants. Please. All right, Jupiter. Oh, the other thing, we're not allowed to say real words. So, when you're healing the children, okay, just make words up. Oh, like you're from okay. From another place. Okay. Show us your sickest human, child. Buki de Beppo. Uh, okay. Uh, please come in. Uh, and she like waves over towards the. Uh, person that is also overseeing this trial. Whoa! Uh, pleasure to meet you all. Our dwarven friend looks different. Is he talking to us? Oh, are you talking about your friend that came to the temple with you? He stayed at the temple since he wasn't a part of your trial. Uh, Jupiter's a good guy. Yeah. He has a wonderful family and a wonderful wife who's not gonna be with us much longer <laughs> it's not because she's dead but that's because i'm really his true lover and we'll get married and she'll go on her way and as well as the children right uh the caretaker does state uh she takes you to a bed where there is a small sick human child because you said human uh this year's agatha she's three <sighs> years old uh, she's coming down with tuberculosis. Currently, he's... Uh, how? How, uh, how frail so human, Nando? Huh? What are those things behind you? They're oh. spirit. I mean, spurs. <clears throat> Wait, you... Hold, hold. What things behind me? There's like a lot of them. You can see those. What? I've been ignoring them for like a day and a half. I see a lot of things. You Wait, how many of them? Like a, like at least ten. <gasps> you would have how to forgive Miss Agatha. She tends to let her imagination run wild sometimes. I'm well, technically, sure there's something I do behind see ghosts, you. but I was... Oh, sorry, I'm interrupting. I'm not supposed to be speaking to this human. I mean, Obu Dabu Dabu Do, Healy Healy Helio, the oh. human, small human, though. You're funny. <laughs> you for one. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Essentially, you did a medicine check, which is more or less the equivalent. Uh, you like. Tuck her in bed, make sure that any bruises <laughs> are taken care of. Uh, she does feel better, but it's like not amazing uh, transformation. Oh, uh, thank you, crazy man. That smells funny. He does. Oh, wait, does it should be. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I don't know I what forget. those dice are that you keep talking about. Dice? She knows what the dice do. The dice! The spirit can he heal the number of times equal to one plus. So it, it, it'd be one times. It'd be one times a few rounds. It's still not a lot, well, but it's something. So six. So yeah. Six. Uh, the caretaker does look towards her. He did do a good job, though, don't you think? And don't mind the whole dice thing. I'm sure this man is a gambler. Don't grow up to be him. He might. No, the dice control the gods. Problems. I mean, oop, abba doops. Abba -dee -da. <laughs> She's like enjoying this because it's a lot of attention and small child impressionable. <laughs> also, okay. You like the fairy? Isn't it cute? Uh, the fairy? Uh, it's a little healing spirit. Yes, yeah, stupid. It's I mean... the other one, the other healing one. Oh, the other one? What? Is, what's your... What word do you think would heal you? Um... Mom. Oh, ow. Oh, that's dark. It's so hard to not talk to humans. Okay, I'm doing it. Mom. <laughs> oh, 
We're in a race situation all over again. <laughs> you <laughs> are <laughs> healing. Oh, that's uh, a very, very, very powerful heal. It's just it's good the healing word is that weak, but it's, I, that's the max roll. I do feel better. She's like trying to encourage you, Jupiter. Jupiter, do you have any other more heals? I just, I just, let me say, Mom, a few more times. Uh, the caretaker just looks towards you. It's all right. You've proven no, I your... Have I have this. Got this Mom. Job. All right. Uh, Good work, Jupiter. This... Mm. Mom. You know what? I'll... Uh, no, if you leave right really... now, how about um, I'll just sign the paperwork off saying you did no. your test of valor? I got this. Please leave. Do you really have to heal a human that much, though? It's like, do they have that much health? Demons? Know. Sorry. But I'm really lightheaded. Do you yeah. are healing their body, but that's not the issue. The issue is a disease. I hope the healing is going are poorly. Are you telling me you can't heal the disease? It's so sad. Well, Wait. does she feel better? She does. Oh, well... Success, everybody. I want to high five Jupiter. Oh. We, high five. We did it. We healed a human. We did do it. Thank you so, very much, everybody, for letting right. us visit your fine establishment. Mm. We shall be leaving. She still coughs from time to time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, pretty lady with I, all her friends. Thank you. And thank you for letting me know about my friends. I started to think I was not going mad. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's just what some of my herbs do. Oh. Uh, Jupiter, that was an absolutely wonderful thing for you to do. Heal that human child baby like that. I think she's still going to die. She might, but she is human. You know, they are frail. Oh. Uh, Agatha comes out. That's Sorry, uh, the child is Agatha. The caretaker comes out and goes, I put Agatha to bed. She'll be fine. Uh, she now? still needs to be uh, blessed, which will remove her uh, current predicament. How old is she? Uh, three years old. Only recently lost three her... years old? Yes, recently lost her parents after a collision with uh, phantoms within the forest. She's just a baby. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, is there anything we could do to heal her? We just uh, did that. Of her if sickness, you... sickness. The one that, you know, eats her from the insides, makes a cup of blood. Gross. Do you one. have the blessed spell? <gasps> that would no. be beneficial. I can is find a plant. Is there a plant that could help? Is there a plant? Um, are you perhaps a... I forget the word for plant Plips. expert? Yeah. I'm really good at plants. Uh, you might make a remedy to help uh, make a medicine, but I do not. Based off of what you've told me and what I've overheard, I don't trust you fully. No offense. That's fine. But definitely I'm good with plants. People keep calling me a botanist, but I, I, that's not my name. My name's Jupiter. I wouldn't trust Jupiter. Jupiter's into oh. drugs. <laughs> what? I What's drugs? Could smell it. Anyways, <laughs> you did do the thing I asked you to, which was to leave the child alone. Um, after healing their body for a bit, so I will sign the paperwork stating that you've shown your valor. Did it. High five. No. High five. Doogie, how many fingers do you have? What do you Duke. mean? On your hand. <laughs> Not hand. on your hand. Your hand. Your actual hand. In my actual hand. Okay. You're being specific. It's five. <laughs> uh, do take care of yourselves. Like a normal hand. Uh, as she closes the door behind her. <laughs> it could be four. I, 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 I can't count well. It's to be the same. Uh, the man that joined you does state, well, 
I'll head to the temple first whenever you're ready. It seems that you passed two trials, so you don't necessarily need to do the third. I'd like to watch stupid You can ask for a favor. You can't ask for a blessing, but you can definitely ask for a favor. My confidence increases watching the weakness of humans roll on the ground and flail in the air. That was you and me on the ground. But I didn't flail in the air. I was just You did kind of flail though when you died. Your spinal I... cord was kind of snapped and you were twitching everywhere. <laughs> I didn't see it happen. You look like a lizard whose tail, you know, when their tails get yeah, ripped yeah, off and they just kind of yeah, wobble yeah. around. It's kind of what it, it looked like. Powerfully. <laughs> uh, as you talk about tails ripping off, uh, Anna, Andromeda, Vera all enter into the Temple of Strength, and you do see a companion, uh, Jobit, in the area. <gasps> oh, Jobit. Hello, we've been looking everywhere for you. Absolutely. Absolutely everywhere. Oh, uh, Miss Anna, Miss Andromeda, Miss Vera. Hi. Uh, pleasure to see you all. Yes, you as well. Where's uh, everybody? Did they, they die? Please tell me they didn't die. No, but Dookie almost did. Oh, almost isn't really dead, so that's that's acceptable. Yeah, thankfully enough, Nina got the crowd on his side. Uh, not oh. important. Uh, okay, okay. Right now, they're trying to do a trial to have uh, the guy up there named Leroy uh, to cleanse Dookie and Jupiter of their curse. Do you mean, do you mean to tell me that they actually went in search of someone to get rid of their curse? Not at first. Oh, okay, that sounds more like it, thank you. My, my faith in, uh, my faith has been restored. Right, well, please let me know if anything like this happens again. I would try to direct them. What do you mean if something happens like this again? It feels like something like this is going to happen again to those three. Oh, no doubt. But of which are you, what are you speaking about? Curses, misfortune, falling upon them. And then Actually, telling them to take care us. of it. Yes, that's true. But why do you say all three? Nina bet a lot of money and then lost it in a fight. Nina. Oh, no. Nina bet money. Uh, yeah. Why would she do a misguided thing like that? Not she knows sure myself. That she doesn't have a lot of money. She knows how important it is to keep money in your pocket to put a roof over your head and a bed under your butt. <sighs> sorry, Gilbert. This is not. I'm taking my anger out on you, and I should not. I'm very sorry. All right. If you want to talk with Leroy, right now he's just waiting for the three to get back. Yes, I would love that. All right. Hello, Sir Leroy. Pleasure. I hear that uh, you have sent our teammates on a quest to prove their strength. Uh, yes, there are... Sorry? No, oh, I was just going to say, yes, there are three tests that you need to do. Or you can pay cold hard cash if you have it. Uh, oh, well, I've just learned that they did not have cold hard cash, and so this makes sense. Yes, they also didn't ask for how much it would cost. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I suppose that's, that's right. And if they don't have money, I can see why they decided to go yes, yes. Let's go for with the that. trial. Very kind to them. Um... <laughs> How long have they been gone? Uh, for the last hour and a half. Oh, they said something about collecting creatures uh, to bring to an orphanage. Creatures to an orphanage. Well, one big that one, from what I can tell at the end of it. Interesting. Jibba, do you know about this creature? Mm, not really. Uh, Jupiter was talking about this with Dookie and Ina. Do you think they're going to find a creature to bring to an orphanage? Doubt it. A say creature? They said a creature to bring it to kids. Huh. 
I don't know about safe. Makes little sense. You know, this sounds bad from the other side of things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leroy. You know which orphanage they went? You know, we, we should just wait for them here. I'm sure they'll be back soon. I wouldn't want to think that have them think that I don't trust them. <laughs> Probably for the best. Hmm. Don't want to get mixed up in all of this, which is why I stayed here. Nina got herself yeah, mixed up no, in this. That's actually a good idea. Um, here's a thought. Here's a thought. Um, knowing that they're safe with you, would I? I think we should go somewhere else so that they don't think that we're here checking up on them. Just you know to increase the um confidence a bit. So what if we went to um that tavern there down the road and waited, and um you guys can come find us when they're done. But why are we trying to help their confidence when... I don't know! They entirely <laughs> fucked up! I don't know, I just need a drink. Eh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The drink does sound really good. And they lead us to drinking, making yes. us think about drink a lot. I'm scared. If we went down the way, they will get lost with Drillbit here or not. Alright, so we should go find them? No! Wait here. For them to get lost? No, to come to us. What do, what do they get lost? <laughs> anyway, it's quite a conundrum. Well, I drill bit. Don't know what to do either. Drill bit. You've been traveling with them. Should we stay? Should we go? Yes. As long as they don't leave the me. city, I think they'll make it back here. But they have gotten lost on the way here. Okay. Oh well. yes, we saw the tracks. That was terrible. They also I... messed with a giant flower. Of no. course they did. They were fairies involved, weren't they? Yeah. And like yeah. a yith hound. This strange oh creature that's like half man, half dog. That we may never be able to... Like something they would mess with. We may never be able to split up again. Or will yes. we? You know, I tried to get more people to come with you on this group, but you all, was, for some reason, were very concerned about the good-paying research job, which, may I say, went very well. Good to hear. Alright, so, um... We wait? We go find them? I think I'm gonna wait. wait. So I'm gonna wait. Gonna wait. Probably wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay. Um, Nina, roll for me survival to see if you make it back. You just need to beat a 10. That's all, Nina. Come on. You got this because I'm just following you. Not a nine and a half. Not an eight and three quarters, yep. but a what? 10. Yep. Man, I definitely right. believe in Nina being able to lead us. Uh, I was doing well takes like two hours but eventually nina leads the team back here i knew it was down the problem is everyone says you've got to go up to, to but you've got to go down. down to go up it makes no uh, sense at all whoa. my toes is you know wait I look in what? this town there's people that look exactly like our friends what, what do you mean oh my oh. God, and drama It's no pleasure to see you. I've got oh, good no, news. Because of that, you managed not to get lost. I've got Look, good news and that's bad. That's wonderful. Excuse me. Yes. Is that being passive aggressive? No. Did you get lost? Yeah, we How got lost that? several times. How would I know if you got lost? We went down, okay? You Everyone were here, and up. so I assume you're not lost. Okay, we went up. But we had to go down. It made no sense, okay? Oh, it's one of those colloquialisms, like you go down up the street. Yeah. yeah. We, yes. When we first got here, the guy told us to go up and then to the left and then to the right. But this time we went up and then to the left and then to the left. And it didn't go where we wanted to go. It was exactly the same place. It was a small human orphanage. It was awful. There are humans everywhere. Yeah, she's going to die and it's sad. Why did like, you go to an orphanage? To heal humans. Your strength. Oh. I'm not seeing the connection there. Look, hold on, everybody. Okay. I get good news and bad news, Andromeda. Oh. Bad news wonderful. first. 
Yes, please. Drillbird and Jupiter. Their minds have been warped and they don't know the real the real truth of everything. Oh. Good news is you're gonna get your money back. Oh. Exactly. You probably already ran into our friend Elton. He probably said once you get your money back. And you're probably like, what do you mean by once you get your money back? I did wonder, yes. That's because we put it in a long term investment fund. We'll get With it back in ten to fifteen years. Did was you that put investment it... a bet? And was it It was, was it... a bet on the market. Why would you do that? That's a stupid idea. I felt for like trying this. It was but, on interpretive dance. Look, we won't know if it was a stupid yeah. idea until 10 to 15 years. I think we know already it was a stupid So idea. the bad news is I have no money. <laughs> Good news is we have finished our second trial. One of those trials I won by throwing someone out of this ring into the wall in one grappled tackle. Yeah, we had to show how strong we were. I did really good. The other bad news is Jupiter. He might not be the person we want in our pot. What? He fought to fly, thinking he was supposed to grapple it, while the man just sat there and laughed at him. What? He was on the ground, screaming, Oh, it's in my eyes! It's in my hair! Where is it? Oh, is that a spider? <laughs> oh, no! It was what? the worst. I don't remember that. He just sat there, crying. Oh, did you guys, when you were on your way here, sit in the giant chair? No, it isn't much chair outside oh of road. Because it's big. We fought we these things called see one. We stayed on the road. Oh, why? We saw that you didn't. We saw tracks and we assumed it was we you. We went the fastest way we could. Yeah. Right. We, and I picked up some herbs along the way. Yes, see, exactly. I picked up herbs. Yes. Oh. So, look, here's the deal. We're about to get Dookie and Jupiter, the first bath in ages. Dookie, Dookie's a little a little self-conscious about his looks at the moment, though, so don't look at him when he takes a bath. Look at um, and just wouldn't dream of it. Leroy, <laughs> my husband, sir, how have you been? Not your husband. We've finished our challenges, and we'd like a request. Yeah. We'd like to do the third challenge. You know. No! Why? So that Jupiter can get his confidence back. You know, I don't think that's necessary. You know. What? Can I talk to you for a second? Yes. Over here. Oh God, Andromeda! If he tells me something really bad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's... What? What? Um. I. You know how we were talking about our travels, and how I picked up some herbs. Yes. Um, so you remember how I was healing the girl as hard as I could? I remember that, yes. I think I dropped my herb pack in her bed. You think? Or you know? I don't have my herbs. Or my mushrooms. Okay. That was like three hours ago. That girl's probably what, 47 by now? I think she would be three in four hours. Oh my god. Okay, look, he's. I the mean, deal. it's probably fine. They're just plants. Exactly. It's not it's like she's gonna smoke them. Okay, I have a new player. Leroy. Yeah. We don't want to do the third challenge. Alright. Ah, for my companions. They're covered Which in a terrible curse. to have their curls removed. Exactly. All right. Like a job of Please. I had a lot of people coming in uh, throughout the day. I can do a remove curse one of them today and one of them tomorrow. Oh. Hmm. All right. What time of day is it for right now? Uh, <laughs> looks, looks into the sky around 8 p.m. A little All late. Right. Early enough for drinking, but late enough for business to be closing down soon. Let's yes. get... Who who do we do first? Dookie, let's get your curse, curse gone. Yes. Dunk me in the water. Dunk Throw him me into down. water and baptize him into strength. Uh, that's a blessing. 
you're not getting a blessing. You didn't do all three trials to pass all three. Oh my god, I only... So what do we get? You get a proverbial favor. I can help you guys. I can oh, clean your I've wounds. I can favor. remove a curse. Yes, removing curses. That's what we're here for. Curses, remember? Oh, that's right. Not bad. Curses. Simple curses. We want to remove Dookie's curse from accidentally eating fairies. Uh, roll deception. You didn't accidentally do it. Uh oh. They were dead. Don't worry, everybody. We're I'm extremely powerful. <laughs> Uh, just be the 12. Nice. Yeah. Just be the 12. Uh, <laughs> Leroy does state. Weird that he had to include that, but all right. Uh, sure. Uh, what? which one of you, Dookie? Uh, looks towards Jupiter and looks towards Dookie. Dookie. All right. Uh, he begins to cast a spell known as Remove Curse. Wow. Didn't even have to be. <laughs> uh, no. Again, this is something a practitioner can do. Uh, begins to cast a spell, and eventually Dookie's curse uh, is removed. Uh, he does state, all right then, uh, that's the last spell slot I had today. So one of you, looks towards Jupiter, will have to wait until tomorrow morning. Uh, we do open around 7 a.m., Jupiter, when do you usually wake up? Sorry, Ju yeah. Jupiter gets found <laughs> asleep. Oh. Well, because, when do you Whoa. usually get up? It was, I forgot to open my mouth when I talked. Oh my god. Um, so, like, I sleep at night and I wake up during the day. What time? When it's daytime. What time? Really? Yeah, when there's sun. Jupiter, how many hours in a day? What are hours? <laughs> we'll be about... here at 7.30. Yes, we will be here when you open. Thank All you so right. much. Mm. Why are you Any... counting numbers? Potentially later, I could be out of spell slots again, which means you'll have to wait another day. <gasps> if we get here in the beginning of the morning? It'll be good. I'm talking about if you get here later in the day, you might oh, run that risk yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we would not want to run that risk, would we? No. no. All right. Uh, your friend here, looks towards Nina, mentioned that you guys need a place to stay. While we don't have room here, there are a few places in town you can go to. The most convenient in our current location is known as the Old Hog Inn. It's down the street. You can see it from here. Wonderful. I've Thank got so a much. free room at Old Hog Inn, so I think I'll go there. And it wasn't a free room. It was like a date to get a drink. Mm, free drinks and a room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Nini, you have a date. That's wonderful. I do. It was the girl I threw out of the circle ring. Rectangle. Circle ring? I almost threw my friend out. I picked up with her and I tackled her. Everyone was <laughs> watching. She threw her like eight feet in the air over everyone. It's actually quite impressive. I didn't tell you could do that. I did not either, but I did it. Isn't it nice to surprise yourself every once in a while? It boosted my confidence, because I thought for sure I was just a toothpick. <laughs> but my bones didn't get hard, because I was underground and didn't have vitamin D. Right. Well, I... Uh, Leroy does state. Right. Well, anyways... Uh, he like makes a little scribble on a piece of paper and hands it over to Jupiter. Uh, present this when you're inside, and if I'm not here, an acting clergyman will be able to assist you. Oh. And then once you contact with what? me, I will get here as soon as possible. Okay. What do we I'll do? be here when it's daytime. Jupiter. Just in case. Jupiter, before you go to the inn, you have to go get your drugs. <coughs> well, then. Are, I don't have drugs. I just have plants. So that's so what you got to get your plant bag from that girl's bed alone. Because it's uh, okay. not going down. If you're going to go down for this, Jupiter, it, you're going down for this. Not the whole group. Not me. Not Dookie. Dookie would fight for your life. That's just because he wants to eat people. for an, Like, have an excuse, you know. 
Are you, you gotta sure? go on your own. Are you sure it's in the girl's bed? Jupiter, Jupiter knows one thing. <laughs> and that's where to find plants. That's true. I There's a high concentration of plants. Jupiter's gonna know exactly where it is. Hey, <laughs> wait, Nina. I should probably clarify something you said real quick. What? So just get the herb bag, leave the mushrooms. Right? You need to make sure that you get all of your mushrooms and herbs oh, in both? that bag. Okay. And then you take that bag with you. Away God from the child. You, Get the shit you dropped, please. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll go right away. <laughs> you begin to rush out. Uh, Drub at death state. I'm usually not a man that needs a drink this early in the evening, but you guys up for a drink? A day. Yeah, so I'm ready for a drink. I'm, yes, let's, let's go. I'm All right. I'll be ready to drink with you, Jobit. Were we in the tavern while we were having this conversation? You can be. No. I would I like to have been so that Jupiter knows where to come home. Okay, that's true. Yeah. I like that. uh, I'm going to say you had this conversation, like, literally just outside the tavern. So, unless Jupiter can't remember what doors are, he should be fine. Uh, but as Jupiter heads out from the uh, old hog inn and everyone else enters inside to get a drink to maybe, uh, <laughs> I guess Nina, Drill, Bit, and Terra getting a drink. Who knows about what's going on there? One thing is for sure certain. Jupiter was left alone heading towards an orphanage with <laughs> plants in mind. At least he's alone. At least he's alone, which means he can't incriminate anyone else. But that also, but also means he's alone. he's alone. So whatever happened now, at least the rest of the team is inside the same city <laughs> with a drink. And let's find out what happens next time as we end the session for today. <laughs>